When I look back at my university life, I think of myself to have been a pretty stupid teenager out there. I was about 17 when I moved out of my teeny tiny city that I grew up in and moved to Delhi University to pursue my higher education. For context, Delhi University is like the University of Oxford for pursuing a degree in liberal arts and humanities in India. I was at the top of my class in school but when I moved to this big city all on my own, I realized that I was not very good at almost anything and my perspective completely changed. And although my perspective changed and I tried to get better at many things, I still wasn't good enough. And when I look back, I noticed that I was doing much better than many other kids out there, but I could have done more. Only if I had the right guidance. I didn't, but you can. Reflecting on the last 10 years of my life, there are lots of things I wish I knew and did differently. So keep watching if you'd like to learn from my mistakes and do better. There's so much going on in life, especially in student life. There's lectures to attend, classes to go to, friends to hang out with, and so many extracurriculars that you want to be involved in. When you look at all these things, it's very important for you to be able to manage your time effectively. And most often in student life, we begin managing all of these different things by roughly creating this nice little timetable in a rough sheet of paper, which says something like 6 a.m. wake up, 6.30 begin studying, 8 o'clock attend courses, and if you do or did something like this, it's most likely that this timetable did really stick around. So you need a better method and system to organize your entire day and learn to manage your time. And most of time management boils down to one key thing, blocking out core hours in your timetable and assigning that time to certain specific tasks. When you do this, you know exactly what you need to get done in a certain hour. And it is always efficient to do this on a calendar rather than on a sheet of paper. In this age of smartphones, it's very likely that you have some kind of calendar already built into your smartphone. But if you don't, go into your Play Store and you'll find various different kinds of calendars. You have Google calendars, Microsoft calendars, whichever calendar you like and install it. Use that calendar to block out certain sections of your day and assigning them some specific tasks. This way you know exactly what you need to get done at a specific time and you'll realize that you are able to get more done than you used to. You've really got time, lots of it, and it's only about managing your time and being conscious of exactly where you are spending your time. That's all there is to time management. If you think that you don't have time, possibly cut down on that Netflix show that you're watching or maybe get 7 hours of sleep instead of 10. And this will free up so many hours in your day that at the end of the week, you'll realize that you have so much more time in your week to do more things. Strategy 2 is that school will not teach you some core subjects that you really need to know to do well in life. Life is more than just your syllabus and your grades. You need to know so many different skills. There's communication, negotiation, leadership, public speaking, knowing how to manage your finances the right way. There's so many more skills that you really need to know. There's so much that school won't teach you. So educate yourself. And today, YouTube can teach you almost any skill. So pick a skill, devote two hours every weekend to it and you will notice that within a year, you've begun to master that skill. And it's always fun watching YouTube videos to learn just the way you are doing right now. This next one is an extension of learning life skills. When you are in school, it's the best time to experiment with your career. When I was in school, I did get on this bandwagon where I did try to learn a little more about editing books, but I didn't really take this far. But you can. You can try out so many different side hustles and in school the stakes are pretty low. You don't have to worry about things like bills and payments and adulting that you will have to get on once you graduate. So you can begin trying out things that you possibly enjoy and that pay. There's so many things out there. You can try being a social media strategist or you can learn video editing and be a video editor or you can try book editing or you can learn how to invest in the stock market. There's so much out there. You can possibly start your own YouTube channel too. When you're in university, nobody really cares whether you are attending a lecture or going to a class. Nobody really cares what you're doing with your time. And when I was in college, I understood it towards the end of the semester that my grades won't matter. So I didn't really care too much about my grades or going to classes or studying too hard. But at the same time, I didn't really work hard towards things that would benefit me in the long run. And life doesn't work that way. You need to work hard. You need to be dedicated in doing something. 
I wish I'd done this sooner where I was dedicated into doing something I really wanted to do but I didn't so you need to understand what you really want to do and work very hard towards it be completely dedicated to what you want to do having responsibility is very important being responsible for your own selves for your own lives this is the best time for you to learn responsibility and begin working towards your goals and your dreams Whatever you are doing, whatever you want to do, be focused and be responsible for it. Work very hard with all of your dedication in it and then you will see yourself doing better and achieving your goals. And finally, having extracurriculars is very important. This is the best time for you to join clubs and organizations and experiment with lots of things. There's so many clubs and societies. Maybe you want to join golf or maybe you want to join tennis or you want to try your hand at painting or writing. This is the best time for you to experiment with different things and figure out where your interest lies. This is also a great time for you to be able to make friends and meet new people when you join these different clubs and extracurriculars. It will help you boost your confidence and you will meet so many new people and your perspective will entirely change as you learn all these different things that these clubs offer. Now, if you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about managing your time and yourself, then check out this video to understand how you can get more done.